Hi, I'm Marcus Strand. I'm the world's best dressed guitarist. Double zebra. And uh, when I mention I play classical guitar, most people react with either... Oh, okay. Or... Oh, so how did... I mean, are you, are you, is, are you in a band or is it... Uh... So to finally put it to rest, today we're asking the old question... <laughs> it's the same letter as my name, how cool is that? Let's just get the first question out of the way right now. Do I play in a band? I mean, is the idea so weird that I would have a job where I just rock out on stage every night in front of thousands of fans, and then just go back to my mansion to take a cocaine shower and dry myself off with my money towel? Yeah, that would be, that, that's not what I do at all. So when we say classical guitar, we generally mean one of these. An acoustic guitar with six nylon strings. Pure nylon here for crisp trebles. And metal wound down here for funky basses. What's the deal with lamp shades? <laughs> I mean, if it's a lamp, why do you want shade? Weirdly specific, yet boring question, but all right. So the main reason we have nylon strings is to produce a soft sound when we play with our nails. Well, I'm just a fancy person. Now, guitar is a very old word and it comes from the Persian words se tar. Tar meaning string and se meaning three? What the f? Okay, so do you still have three strings? Big deal, we can fix this. Let's just say the three string guitar got bored, went back in time to jam with the Drumcosaurus and the Bassosaurus to play some Jurassic groovy tunes, but the time travel accidentally cloned the guitar into an evil twin and they fought with magical swords for 75 million years until guitar legend Ingvi Malmsteen came by and said Hey guys, why don't you play with uh, six strings? I do that and I get women. And everyone was just like, ah, fine. And that's why to this day dinosaurs have short arms, I guess. More to the point, if it had six strings from the beginning, it would be called a sheshtar which by previous logic, it would now be called a shit tar. So there's that. What, is my hair? No, it's awesome. But what if it had 90 strings? Then it would be called a havatar. Originally, the guitar's main purpose wasn't a musical instrument, it was a navigational instrument for ancient travelers. Since there was no written language, the easiest way to remember where you were going was just to play it. So for example, you might say to someone, you just go the C major way, and then you just have very nice waterfalls and whatnot. Or you take the C minor one, and then you'll end up in a volcano, and no one really wants that now, do they? <laughs> I will bite hands, I, I can't, yeah, I can't do it. But let's say you want to go further. Uh, that's where the strings and the frets come into the picture. See, in, back in those days they only had six planets and they were much more visible in the night sky than they are now. So that's why there are six strings and also the 19 frets of the guitar represent the 19 zones of the northern and southern hemisphere that they divided the earth into. So all you had to do if you were going somewhere was just to put the sun in the middle of this hole here. Well, not literally, just kind of, you know, aim it. And uh, then you just chose a planet where you wanted to go. So let's say you want to go here, then we just choose this string, which is Mars, and you just kind of follow Mars along the trajectory that you had in the sky until you got where you were going. And when you went there, you heard this kind of noise, vibration, Mars, Earth, and... Uh, and it works like with the uh, factors. Okay, so that's not entirely true. They did have seven planets back then. So where's the seventh string? Well, here's the problem. The guitar is a binary instrument. And that means that we have six strings and we can produce 19 different tones, 20 if we include the open strings. And the hobby mathematician can easily calculate that that is roughly 127 different notes that we can produce with this guitar. <laughs> See, the way binary works is that you have a max value for all set digit systems. So if your uh, digit is one, you have a one digit system, your max value is one. If you have a two digit system, your max value is three, and so on in factors of two minus one, of course, unless you wanted to add a new one. So that's the problem, see, since we have these one. massive crash, the likes of which we haven't seen since Y2K, which we all know killed everything. 
Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something new about classical guitar. I'll put links down in the description to where you can learn more about binary systems, canned foods, and dinosaurs. And if you feel I left something out in the video, please leave a comment. Until next time, have a nice day. Thank you.